Hey everybody, Dan here from leafscore.com. Today I'm gonna to be talking to you about the Tesla Powerwall Plus, which is the newest model of solar battery from Tesla. We're gonna be talking about some of the specifications that I think you'll find interesting about these batteries. I'll go over the cost, uh, specifically what I paid for these two that I have mounted inside my garage. I'll also talk about how these batteries work and we'll take a look at the Tesla app, which you can use to monitor these batteries and your solar panel production. First, we're gonna discuss some of the specifications of these batteries batteries that I think will help you decide if this is uh, the right solar battery for you. Um, first off, Tesla has three different uh, solar batteries, the Tesla Powerwall, the Powerwall 2, and the Powerwall Plus. I have the Powerwall Plus, so that's what I'm going to be discussing uh, in today's video. So the Powerwall Plus, each of these has 13.5 kilowatt hours of battery storage. That means that each of these can hold 13.5 kilowatt hours. Uh, that I can use in my house in the case of a blackout or whatever. So I have two of these, which is a total of 27 kilowatt hours. Uh, my home in New York uses around 800 kilowatt hours per month, which comes out very conveniently to 27 kilowatt hours per day, which means that these two Tesla power walls can power my home totally off grid for exactly one day with no other input from my solar panels. So a little bit later, I'm going to discuss why uh, we can go off grid for significantly longer um, but for now, know that each of these is 13.5 kilowatt hours. The Tesla Powerwall Plus comes with a 10 year warranty from the uh, manufacturer. Uh, these can be mounted inside or outside your home, uh, either on the wall or on the ground in both cases. As far as the performance goes, uh, we've had absolutely no issues with these. They make zero noise. They are currently on right now. Um, I pulled my home off grid just to show you uh, what they sound like. So they are, my home is currently off grid pulling power from these batteries and they're making zero noise whatsoever. Uh, the only other thing to mention is that there is an on off switch on the top right of these panels on the side. Um, but other than that, these are pretty standalone batteries and require basically no input from you to use. So now on to what these cost. Uh, the average cost for a Powerwall Plus is $11,500, which is quite expensive, uh, but the kilowatt hour storage of this battery is quite a bit higher than most other residential solar batteries. You can install up to 10 batteries in your home. Obviously we installed two here for a total of uh, 27 kilowatt hours of storage that costs us $17,650. Uh, now when you install multiple power walls, you generally get a deal on the second and subsequent power walls. So at $17,650 total, that came out to an average of $8,825 for each of these power walls, which is significantly below the $11,500 price tag that just one of these comes with. If you choose to install power walls alongside your panels, which I highly recommend, you can use the Federal Investment Tax Credit, the ITC, to get a, an effective discount on these. So it's not a rebate, it is a tax credit. Uh, but it's 30% up until 2032. So in actuality, these cost us a total of $12,355 combined uh, or $6,175 each after the tax credit. One last point about the cost. According to our solar installer, three power walls is considered standard. Uh, this is a light setup. So you might want to base your price on three power walls rather than two. So now on to the performance of these Tesla power walls. Basically how they work is they uh, collect solar electricity that's gathered by your solar panels when your panels are producing in excess of what your home is using. So when your panels are generating more than you need, the excess energy gets routed to your solar batteries. Uh, in this case, the Tesla Powerwall Plus. Uh, that energy can then be called on later if your panels ever underproduce. So on cloudy days or at night, obviously your panels are not going to be generating the electricity you need for your home. In that case, the power walls, the electricity that you need can be pulled from the power walls. And I say can because you can set up how the power is managed from these batteries. I'll explain that a little bit later when we're taking a look at the Tesla app. So basically these batteries are always on, uh, unless I shut them off, of course. Um, they run constantly and they provide a seamless experience um, in terms of maintaining power. So we have had one blackout uh, last year since we got these Tesla power walls installed and we didn't even notice until we noticed that our neighbor's power was out. Uh, so we didn't lose power in our home at all. Uh, the clocks on the, the stove and the microwave didn't go off, the TV didn't go off. 
the power just was directly routed from the batteries with no interruption whatsoever. So we were really pleased with that. Um, I, have not, I have not personally used other solar batteries. I suspect they work similarly, but absolutely no issues with how the Tesla power walls have worked so far. So one more thing to note about how these batteries work. Uh, before I mentioned that we can, although the, the battery capacity matches our average daily usage, um, we can last far longer than a day off-grid using our power walls. The reason for that is when you combine your solar panels with batteries, uh, you can disconnect from the grid entirely. So if you just have panels installed on your roof uh, and the power goes out, those panels will not supply power to your home. So you won't have power through a blackout. Uh, the reason for that is the electricity can travel back to the grid and can cause a risk of electrocution uh, for anybody working on the power lines outside your home. With batteries installed, however, uh, you can go totally off-grid. I'll show you how to do that with these Tesla Powerwalls in a minute on the app, which is very convenient. You can choose to go off-grid, and when the power goes out, the batteries automatically take you off-grid, which means that your batteries can then supply power to your home, and your panels can continue to supply power to your batteries. So as your batteries charge or provide electricity for your home, your panels will continue charging your battery. So although our capacity matches our daily usage, uh, we can actually continuously, continuously charge our Tesla power walls while we're using electricity from them during a blackout. So we size our system so that it's over 100% of our energy uh, consumption, which means that we can basically more or less go indefinitely off-grid if there is a long-term blackout. Now I want to show you how the Tesla app works, so we'll head inside and take a look at that. Okay, so this is what you're going to see when you open up the Tesla app. Um, this shows you everything you need to know about how your system is functioning. So right now you can see that we're producing seven kilowatt hour, uh, I'm sorry, seven kilowatts of solar. Uh, right now the home is pulling 0.6 kilowatts. Uh, the power wall is providing zero kilowatts because our solar is outpacing our consumption right now or our solar production is outpacing our consumption, I should say. Um, and the grid, this is our exportation. So we're exporting 6.4 kilowatts currently, again, because our solar is overproducing for what we're using. So on this home screen, you can click on uh, energy here, and this, this will show you how much you have generated, uh, how much your home has used, how much solar power you've generated, the uh, battery history, and how much power you've pulled from the grid today. So here you can see our home usage. You can click the sun up here to see your solar production. So we've generated 23.3 kilowatt hours. Uh, you can click here for the battery discharge. So obviously since solar has been, um, since our solar production has been so high today, we have not needed the battery. Uh, and then you can click this last icon to see our grid usage. So we did use energy prior to the sun coming out. And then you can see once the sun came out, our net grid use dipped below zero, obviously because we're exporting to the grid. Uh, you can change the um, time scale for this. You can click day up here and you can look at the day, the week, the month, the year, or the lifetime usage for as long as you've had your power walls. Uh, so we're gonna go back to the home screen now. So on impact, you can see the environmental impact that your uh, solar system has had. So you can see uh, how, what percentage your home has been um, self-powered, uh, the, the value of energy that you've saved, your solar offset. So you can see our offset is 109%, or our production is 109% of our usage, which means that we have used, we have pulled um, a net of lower than zero kilowatt hours from our energy company. Uh, and then you can see the backup history. This is just for this year. Uh, the blackout that we had was last year. So this year, obviously it's gonna say zero. So we're gonna go back here and we're going to, uh, well, actually first I wanna mention, this is how you go off grid. So you're gonna click that if you ever need to go off grid. Um, and then it'll give you an option to pull your home off grid. I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, instead, I'm going to head into settings. And uh, this is where the Tesla app is really useful. So first off on Powerwall, uh, you can see we have it set to using 15% for time-based control. 
Uh, basically, that means that 15% of the battery is going to be used to offset our grid usage. So it's going to offset how much power we pull from the grid. Um, in areas where net metering is not available, you're going to want that significantly higher to maximize your savings. Uh, we have it set to 15 and then we reserve 85% for off-grid usage. So you can go in there and change that. It's a sliding scale. Uh, they'll recommend based on um, your area uh, and how you want to set up your battery. Uh, we have it set to 15% because we do have access to net metering. Um, one of the coolest features is Stormwatch, which we just recently saw. So your Tesla Powerwalls are connected to the internet and they watch the weather and when the weather is bad or a storm is expected, they will um, override the usage that you set to reserve power for off-grid usage as it anticipates a power outage, which is really, really cool. So this is really hands-off. Uh, Tesla power walls are very hands-off and it's very convenient. Um, that's basically all I wanted to show you in the app. You can meander around here and check your utility rate plan. Um, obviously, you don't need to do that to use your power walls, but that's how the app works. We'll head back outside and uh, wrap up here. Hopefully, you found this video helpful and uh, this has answered some of your questions about the Tesla Powerwall Plus and how it functions or how it can function in your home alongside solar panels. Uh, we have had these installed for five months now and we have no complaints whatsoever. Uh, we absolutely love them. The seamless experience of switching to battery power in the one blackout that we've had so far was incredible. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below and we'll do our best to get back to you. Um, hopefully this has given you a little bit of insight into how the Tesla Powerwall Plus works and why it is so beneficial to install alongside solar panels. See you next time.